using prompts and alerts for our input and output gets pretty, uh, pretty sloppy. So let's switch over and start using something known as enter HTML for our output. And in order to do that, we need to have an area on our page created using uh, ID or a class. And that's going to be the easiest way. And then we can reference that by using a document method known as a query selector. Or we can use get element by ID. Those are two ways to do it. So on my page right here, I have on line 8 and 9 a paragraph. And it has an ID of output. So that's where we're going to display our um, output that will be generated. To trigger this, I created a button on line 7. I say input type of button. The value of click me is what's going to be displayed on the button. And I give it an ID if I want to reference that object. In order to trigger this, there's a few ways that we can create events using JavaScript. Uh, the easiest way right now is just to add the event handler directly into the button. And so I'll type on click. There's a number of different events you can do. You could do an on mouse over. So when you roll the mouse over, it would trigger the function or the JavaScript call. Uh, here I just have it so you press down and you actually click on the button. So I'll have an equals opening and closing parentheses. And within the opening closing, um, excuse me, not parentheses, quotations, inside those quotations, you can have as much JavaScript as you want. You can uh, have 50 lines of JavaScript and it would work. Generally, though, you're just going to make a call to a JavaScript function. That's the easiest way. So you just have one line of JavaScript. And there's no function that exists in my script yet, so I'll type that in just a minute. Right now, I just make the name of the function that I'll type, and so I'll just call it rand number and opening and closing parentheses because it's a call to a function. So there's my JavaScript statement. Notice that I end it with a semicolon between the opening and closing quotes. I come down here, and I'm going to go ahead and make a function, and I will want it to be the same as the one that I'm calling on line 7. So I'll call it rand num, opening quote, uh, curly bracket, excuse me, and closing curly bracket. There we go. So it generates a random number on line 13. I could certainly do an alert, but let's go ahead and write the inner HTML right now. In order to write the inner HTML, I reference the document object. Now, the document object, you can use document.write with, and you can write to the page. The problem is that it doesn't really refresh uh, very well. So you want to use something such as inner HTML. So first of all, we want to write to an area by with our inner HTML. So we'll use the get, uh, get element by ID will be the one we'll use right now. And I'll add this dot and you see that now I get with my IntelliSense a number of different um, uh, things that work with the document object. I'll start typing get element by ID and it recognizes that. Press enter and now if I hit quotes it will recognize that and it's going to give me a list of the IDs that I have on the page. One of those IDs is output. So I'll go ahead and let that go. And if you're using Notepad or Notepad++, you could just type that in. It probably won't have an uh, IntelliSense for you. And then to write into that area, I can just type enter HTML. And you could write anything in here you want. You could say hello world. And that would actually appear within the opening and closing paragraph tag every time that you uh, pressed uh, that button, and that would appear. Of course, I want to show the random number. So I'll just show R-A-N-D, and that would show the, vari the, the variable, uh, the content of the variable R-A-N-D, which is holding what we um, generated with the math.random. Okay, let me go ahead and test that out. I'll save that up and show that in Firefox. And now I have the button right here. And right below it, you can't see it, but right below it is the paragraph with the ID. So I hit click me, and there's a 4, a 3. So this is much more elegant than using that, um, than using that alert, isn't it? This is great. Nice.